Easier for me to see them. <laughs> because I have to have an eye to eye contact with you to make sure that you are understanding what is inside. Yes, correct. From this side, Mahapatraji, Uddhara Ali. Yes, I am going to
what you think. And then what? Are we doing? Are we looking for this? Working for this? Are we working for this? Accumulation of physical facility in few individuals, not every individual, right? And that too, we have a believe that it is required in an unlimited quantity. So are we aspiring for this? Are we aspiring for this? And is this enough? This is the goal. This is the goal. And which is natural? This or this? Left hand side. Left hand side. Left hand side, right? Yeah. And if we have to ensure this, then we need all the system. Right? This human system, right? You know, in five dimensions. <coughs> Will there be a in between a middle? Neither this side or neither this side. Will there be a third one? <laughs> yeah, you can sit in here on this fence. <laughs> yeah, in fact, many of the societies have get got into this problem that traditionally they have different goals. Right? When the modern civilization is coming in, this has become the goal. Right? So, particularly these older generation people now, you know, sitting in the fence. They think this is also right, this is also right, or maybe this is right, or maybe that is right. <laughs> and a lot of you know, problem is being faced. The newer generation who is you know, exposed to this Western education right from the beginning, they think that this is it. Right? Everything else is meaningless. So they are all out for it. But the older generation also think that, you know, this is not everything, there are other things. You have to care for your culture, for your community, for your you know, nature, for other human beings, you think like that, right? But modernity is very clear about it, right? The whole modern civilization okay, is very clear about it. It says this is all that is, right? Anything else is fast. Let's not, you know, waste our time and effort. There are thought in between. Huh. Neither who uh, go to you know, un, uh, to accumulation of the uh, wealth, nor they have the trying to have the right understanding, like people who are living in an animal conscious, who doesn't want to have a money, <laughs> neither to you know, and then they drink and they play archery and then they just uh, not spend like that. So then <laughs> yeah, but you see. <coughs> this issue is not just more and more accumulation. The issue is, what is the concern? If, you know, this drinking is the concern, right? And just playing is the concern. Then the concern is up to all this. So whether you are drinking 10 liters of wine or you are accumulating 1000 liters of wine, that's not very different. The important issue is the concern. <coughs> So if the concern is for the food and for the wine and for the sensation, right? Then it is the same animal consciousness. And if the concern is for this accumulation of lot of physical activity, then also it is animal consciousness. <coughs> okay, so what we will do is we will try to expand on each of these, you know, education, sanskar, you know, the health, sanyam and everything. <coughs> so let me do that one by one.
Because why I ask this question is that I am trying to uh, fit myself, whether I am in the uh, right understanding feeling, then I say, no, I am not in this. Then when I am thinking of whether do I go really after the money, I don't think so also. So, there has to be a... <laughs> then I thought of the animal consciousness and probably... <laughs> I am related to my <laughs> Maybe that's from my side, but maybe if other uh, people looking at me, maybe I am falling in this room also. They wouldn't. Don't worry. Next, the next workshop we will invite Am. <laughs> Verify ourselves and then make you understand. <laughs> Maybe if I am falling in this group. Sorry, two questions. Now, I am really sorry to make a comment on this. I am not over doing it. Now, I believe two dashes are trying to point it up. I think it's actually for us. That's what uh, Engaji was sharing, that when he experimented with his children, yeah. now the children are telling the parent, you know. Yes. <laughs> So you can see this is the content of education. Is that correct? Or do you think anything is unnecessary? That is right understanding. That is understanding or harmony at all four levels. At the level of individual, family, society, nature, existence. All this has to be understood. Or you think something is unnecessary? There is no question of unnecessity. It's all necessary. <laughs> <coughs> so all this is necessary. Yes. And if all this is necessary, now you can evaluate your you know, education system. Right? What we are doing in the name of education. Right? How much of it is covered in our education system? <coughs> What do you think? Out of this, that is right understanding, you know, at all four levels, starting from self to entire existence. Out of this, how much is covered in our education system today? When you ask this question, I feel like 
going right now and pull both education minister and secretary to come and attend this and pieces scattered here and there without much focus. You might find here and there, you check the <coughs> curriculum materials, but uh, not with <coughs> this whole campus. Yes. It is missing. True. <coughs> In our time, it was zero. <laughs> <laughs> we learned about Tom Smith. <laughs> he didn't know whether it was a name of a bridge or a person. Tom's <laughs> 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 lived in London. <laughs> 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 and then, then we came there, there's a Shivaji coming with long tower. And then, who is this Shivaji? <laughs> whether he's a statue, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking about this? But we have come a long way on. The curriculum department they have just put some value on in the name of GNH and wholesome education. There is there, but uh, <coughs> that depends ultimately on the teacher how they deliver and make these people use the information. But information is if it is like our time, and it's a own case. The Tom Smith, <laughs> the right to 20 pages on Shivaji, you can't make head and tail. <laughs> <laughs> if you miss one comma, your mark is gone. So you have to create. Some of our friends still working. He crammed about 65 pages of dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> Quite amazing. <laughs> you try to say something, what is this? But meaning he won't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of it. <laughs> so, this is the time. Go on long time, right? <laughs> and these are the products here. <laughs> 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 and now it's up to you to change the world. We are good. We are of the 20th century. <laughs> we will relax, look back, and see how our colleagues are doing. <laughs> but these are very useful. But I think, you know, <laughs> this is the right time for you to provide the guidance. Yes. <coughs> because it is after all the senior people in the community who are supposed to provide the guidance. So, if, if, you know, um, if you can get the feel and the sense of it, then you can certainly make sure that your next generation is able to get this. <coughs> So, this has to do with right understanding, sanskar has to do with right living. Right, right living at all four levels, <coughs> from self to entire existence. And this right living will essentially call for three things, call for commitment, it will call for Recreation. <coughs> and we can call for practice. <coughs> so these are the three things which are included in sanskar. Right? That is, I have a commitment to live you know, in harmony, in the relationship. Then I have made essential preparation as to how to live in harmony, live in the relationship. Then I have made the essential practice right? to live in harmony with human beings and to live in harmony with the rest of nature. Right? This preparation and practice would also include 
skills and technology. Right? So if I have to live in harmony with human beings, right? I have to have the necessary kind of preparation and practice. So the skills in terms of behavior, skills in terms of work. Right? And then necessary technology <coughs> to ensure you know, the work part. So this skill and technology will be a part of this, right? So you can see, this education has to do with right understanding, that is understanding of harmony. Sanskar has to do with right living, that is living in harmony. Right? And the scope of this is from self to entire existence. Right? So the essential outcome of the education of Sanskar would be this, right? understanding of the harmony and living in harmony. And you can remember this is what we have defined as excellence, right? <coughs> this is defined as excellence, isn't it? So, the outcome of the human education sanskar will be achieving of this excellence. So understanding of the harmony and living harmony at all <coughs> levels, starting from individual to family to society to nature and existence. So that is the meaning of education and sanskar. So you can see, if you have this education and sanskar, you will have right understanding and right feeling in every individual. And you can see, that this does not sound to be something very, you know, difficult, something very costly, right? If you look at this education in Sanskar, you can see what is the level of physical facility in this. <coughs> the major role is that of this feeling of guidance and the feeling of reverence the feeling of reverence on the part of the student, if the teacher had excellence. And the feeling of guidance on the part of the teacher. Right. So, if I have right understanding and right feeling, I do want to share it with everyone, right? This is the feeling of guidance. On the other hand, if I have the right understanding and right feeling, the student has an acceptance for my excellence. That is the best. So what is fundamental to education and sanskar is this feeling of reverence and the feeling of guidance. The feeling of guidance on the part of the teacher and the feeling of reverence on the part of the students. That is what is essential to education and sanskar. Right? And not just the infrastructure. <coughs> So the essential component in education is excellence in the teacher which leads to feeling of reverence in the students and feeling of guidance in the teacher. If these two feelings are there, right, the education in sanskar is a natural outcome of this. I must also make a mention, okay, just to draw your attention and you must not get very perturbed about it. Right? <coughs> This education of Sanskar will come under the category of behavior or work. The education of Sanskar will come under the category of behavior or category of work. Behavior, right? This is one interesting point to observe. And the return of the behavior is mutual happiness. In the process, no physical facility is produced. Right? So 
the return of education and sanskar, which is essentially behavior, when I am talking to you, I am sharing my knowledge with you. Right? This is my behavior with you. And what is the outcome of this behavior? Mutual happiness. <coughs> my happiness as well as your happiness. Right? That is the return of education and sanskar. This is not in the category of the work. No facility is produced in the process of education in sanskar. <coughs> so when I have talked to you right, on these issues for the last four days, right, have we produced any physical facility? <coughs> no. Okay. But the activity that we have done is a useful activity. The most fundamental activity for human being. But it is not a production. Let us be very clear about it. It is not work. It is behavior. And behavior is of importance for human being. Right? If you remember, this right understanding, a right feeling, is fundamental for human being of nature happiness. <coughs> so what we are indulging in is this right understanding, a right feeling. Right? That is the education and sanskar. And this is the behavior, not the work. And the return of this is mutual happiness. And you can see, if I have the right understanding and right feeling, I would like to share it with you. Right? You anyone may want to have right understanding and right feeling. So this is a natural transaction. It is a behavior and it is a natural transaction between those who have the right understanding and right feeling and those who do not have the right understanding and right feeling. And that is the meaning of this reverence and guidance. So that is the core need, need okay, for education in sanskar. Right? Infrastructure <coughs> is a secondary thing. Right? If we have this room, we are making use of this room, right? If we have the whiteboard, okay, we are, you know, can write down, you know, and you can read this. If I have a mic, you know, I can speak for them in a longer period. But even if all this is not there, <coughs> it, is still, it, is, it is still possible right, to do this transaction. Right? Like I remember when we started this in Kanpur, right? uh, we had a drawing room which is 18 feet by 12 feet. So every faculty had a drawing room there. So we converted this drawing room into a classroom by putting 8 by 4 whiteboard just costing at some 1100 rupees. And we started having this kind of workshop for, you know, some 30 people, 30, 35 people could sit comfortably there. Right. We started with this workshop, you know, for these 30, 35 people in the evening from 5.30 to 8.30. Right. So they do their own work, right. In the evening anyway they are free, right. So they will pass their time gossiping. <coughs> I am also free after the class. So we can conduct this workshop without involving any infrastructure. So we'll have it from 5.30 to 7 o'clock, then we'll have a break, give them you know, a cup of tea with some very you know. And then have another one and a half an hour of session and then close. So we used to have that eight day workshop. So many of the people who have you know, now working with us have come out of that evening workshop which was done without any additional infrastructure. So, infrastructure is a secondary thing. The essential thing is this right understanding and right feeling in, in the teacher. Right? And therefore this feeling of guidance and the feeling of reverence on the part of the students. So in that sense, this is possible to be communicated to everyone in the society in the community. Because it is not involving any cost, any physical facility to a very large extent. And fortunately, as far as the physical facilities are concerned, 